Hello again everyone, Mage Eye here, Wilkin here, and we're and we're doing the finale for TF2 Analysis Anarchy Red vs. Blue. It's been all it's been one real ride. And uh, sorry about the lighting setup again. It's again like last time it's raining outside, so anyway. I'm not gonna there's still some unanswered questions like what like a are uh, British Ninja and Thai and Daga going to get their uh, super forms? And also, where on earth has KP been? Uh, Anthony C said that he introduced chaos magic. Was she involved in this somehow? That's that's one of the questions I've been hope I'll hope to uh, learn at this finale. And his whole reason his whole reason for doing this was to try and achieve immortality. I've got news for you, mates. The search for immortality didn't work for Arpeggio or Neela in Sly Cooper Band of Thieves. So, let's just... So, I don't think it's going to work out well for you. But, uh, let's... Uh, but, I've got the video up. Uh, at least by the thumbnail, we know we know British Ninja and Ty and Daga are going to be in this. But, uh, let's get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh yeah, it's a 10 year anniversary, isn't it? This is for. You appreciate your impact on our lives. Oh, thank you very much, Doctor. Oh, Kingdom Hearts music to start off. I like. This is going to be interesting. This was obviously one of Josh Scorch's choices. Is that the Roxas fight music? Wasn't the sniper speak, speaking with the heavy's voice? Uh oh, they're getting tired out. Uh oh, they're out of Uber. Oh, that was close. And the team is assembling. Nice visual effects on the security footage. Yes, yes they have. Gosh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Please tell me we get to fight Mecha Godzilla too. Uh, that ship kind of already sailed during me and Silver thing, man. Uh, yes. Ooh, that still feels too soon. Oh, my big green dragon baby. My baby, why? <laughs> <laughs> It's time to kick blanks and chew bubblegum. And we're all out of gum. Oh, here you go. Deus Volt. Infidels. Leroy Jenkins. Everyone quiet. Oh dear. Use the affection you were given and care. You all 
want to beat these murderous toasters? Then be a team! And are they going to take that to wit to to uh, are they going to take this to heart? No, Ellie's got the axe. Yes, ma'am, sir, ma'am, sir, lady, sir, ma'am. Axe. Please don't kill me. Wow. I can't believe that actually worked. Great. Hard part's over. Now we just need to not die. Right, right, right. Speaking of which, your gun still has the compressed air tanks attached, right? Yeah. Compressed air tanks? Why? Hmm. So where's Anthony C here? <laughs> Two words, darling. Check off the gun. Oh really? Oh, I think I know what they're up to. Let's get ready to rumble! You're left yes. <laughs> Just point and shoot! As we move forward, we need all of our explosive classes keeping up a barrage. A and Y, Jasper, Maddie, move, move, move! Oh, you have no idea how much I want to blow stuff up right now. Then I have to make up for looking like this. <laughs> I am prepared to give those robo hippies the most painful of haircuts. Especially if I get to do it with my soldier buddy. <laughs> For the last time, we are not. Dialog enemies are real. Uh, fine. Soldier buddies. <laughs> Maddie's gonna regret this, isn't she? Why do I always get paired with the nut? With a harassment maneuver. You had me at harassment. Voice, Golden, I need you to do what snipers do best. Take out the giants and the medibots. Uh, yeah, no offense, Key, but I don't think Golden will work well there. Even with Domino Luck on his side. That type of task would require... Explosive headshots? <laughs> Wait, you... You... You actually took my advice? Well, yeah, you're great at this game. I took notes. Nice to know they actually do care. <sighs> they blow up so fast. Uh, they talk about the SpongeBob line. Break out your disguise kit. I want you to cause as much confusion in the enemy ranks as possible. No holds bar. Anything goes. Full yes and. Well then, consider them Psyducks. As I'm about to give these tin cans some explosive headaches. Hey, yay, yay. I need you to take out the front line. It is time to release the waifu. Oh, uh, we've got an ad coming on. Hold on, had to pause, there's an ad. Uh, what happened? I was expecting the Life of Brian music. Sure, sure, sure. I I understand your uncomfortableness totally. But I got some intel that you might be interested in. You know how a lot of those new Disney live action remakes seem to be soulless, robotic, and mm -hmm. not assembly line? They ah. Ooh. <laughs> and 
Karen. Oh my god, what kind of miss the girl? I love my wife. Take him home, Carl. <laughs> you do what you usually do. <laughs> and what will you do, Engineer Keyframe? Don't worry, guys. Real fitting costume or not? I've always got you. Ooh. Whoa! Now that's interesting. Oh, this is this is going to be interesting. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Ooh. <laughs> Soldier buddies forever. <laughs> hey, at least save some for me. Death is everywhere. I have an abundance of death and it's a good home. <laughs> Watch out for that building. <laughs> Ooh. So much carnage. So much death. They should have sent a poet. <laughs> Where do I start? Wait a minute. What the The following statement is true. The preceding statement was false. <laughs> That's some terrible. This is like this is like that bit in in a sort of Terry Pratchett feet. Uh, was that one about the time travel? Ooh. <laughs> Nice explosion effect. For today, I have a new gun, and I have named it Luna. There are many fanboys, but I am the most heavily armed. Huh? Um, just, just give it a minute. Okay, does it need to warm up first? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I I have nothing to say. This is just fantastic. Did that? I'm hit. I'm hit. Sensumi. Oh, what was? Huh. Right. Super Saiyan. Oh, ooh, whack. Go ahead, just say it. Like that's the most healing I've done all week, or something like that. No, actually, I was gonna say thank you. Oh. 
welcome. Great job motivating the team. You pretty good yourself. Oh. Still ship it. Hey. Kill her now or after the giant robot fight? After. Yeah, priorities. Uh, there's just too many of them, Key. Uh, he's right, Firebrand. We've got to pull the plug on wherever these things are coming from. Even with all the ammo and healing you and Doc are doing, I don't know how much longer we can last. She has a point, Brandy. A lot of our energy supplies are getting lower and lower. I know, but we need to keep up our perseverance, otherwise we're cooked. Come on. I think there's got to be a way to... Uh-oh. Oh, not bliss. Toasty. Ah! In the flesh. Hey, it turns out Spyro is a lot shorter than I remember. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. The whole time, and you didn't invite me. Guys, less chatting, more running. I I'd, I'd agree with that. Talk about a firewall. Uh, Doctor, would you mind pointing your puppy peepers in that direction? <gasps> uh huh. That must be the source. Good eye, Ninja. <whistles> Sweetie Blue, A N Y. On it, dog. Oh, that son of a! He stole my plans for the robot factory tank. <laughs> I'm amazed. I'm amazed. Sweetie didn't hear that. What the? Oh, for the love of! They're fighting the tank now. Come on, I could take it down in one shot, just like last time. Yeah. That was a fluke. No, now focus. You're doing all right there, Scribblecorn. Tis but the scratch. I would love to complete this quote, but now. <laughs> Scratch! You got your arm. Your arm's cut off. No, it isn't. What's that? I've had worse. Don't worry, Doc. I got their back. So do I. Now I hate to point out the elephant in the room, but a literal elephant in a literal room would still be stealthier than you. Oh, you poor naive ninja! I don't need to be stealthy. Ooh. I have the element of deception. Isn't that what sneaky being? How many of those is it going to take to blow the thing up? Okay, that much. Yeah, that's done it. Uh oh. That must be one really heavy robot. No, 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 no. You take the shot. I've been rubbing my ego in your face since I wiped out a thousand robots in one blow. Oh great, now they're arguing about who's the better person. You both take the shot. Yes. And they're out of Uber. Stay cheese. Oh, 
And there was much rhubarb and watermelons. Hello, you two. Well, now that we have your full and undivided attention. All right, everyone, listen in, listen well. Here's the scoop. Ty and I are in the middle of a Spyro gaming session. <laughs> when the strangest thing suddenly occurred to us. Why not just bring Saber and Race together and talk things out? Actually a good idea. Huh. I know the newbies would help save the day. Not everyone needs a super form to justify their existence in the plot. Besides, That's true. This red team versus blue team nonsense is cutting into my baking time. Don't you know I'm still owed two whole cookie jars? Um, well then, thank you both very much for showing initiative. I must admit, you really had the right idea from the beginning. Yeah, but now the big question needs to be asked. Why? Did each of you want the other dead? Oh, right. We did this because of a Zootopia poster. The Zootopia poster? That was it? Like, the movie? Oh, you know, it's a tale as old as time. You leave a poster uh. of one of your favorite movies on the wall, and your best friend who you thought you could trust takes it without permission it was right out in the open enticing me with its brilliance that doesn't give you the right to steal my favorite poster just because it was unguarded are you kidding everyone knows that i'm the zootopia fanboy and you didn't see that coming really dude it's your own fault a poster you wasted all of our time got all huh? of our friends and teammates going all civil war on each other and pretty much wasting all of our time i i think i need a moment to process all of this i'm actually with firebrand on this i mean i like zootopia but uh, i wouldn't kill someone over it and no, no, I wouldn't. You took it too far. Mm-hmm. Question Was it a side poster? Oh come on. Ow. Well also I mean when you say it out loud, yeah, it sounds kind of petty. But hey, how about we make it even? We took away something you care about. Why don't you take away something I care about? Oh, how about I do that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Not so thick. Saber. Oh, so you get to throw me under the bus again. Is that it? Hey, dip for tat. But I, 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 that was my my name was on it. Other people's names were on it. Like yours, it just Also, question, how do they how do these two connect to AC? I will punch you right in the dark. I need to have a few words with someone for making me say nice things about Justin and Megaforce. Really? I think you admitted your feelings just in time that we didn't have to Megaforce the issue. Oh, don't push it, Silver. Is immeasurable. It's brilliant. It's his fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't know. Let's see, we've still got over... Ah, there we go. There's Anthony. Why? Why would you put yourself in so much harm's way without the same safety net that every pony else has? <sighs> I've spent 
my whole life in the service of ponies. Mm. With a constant reminder of how much less capable I am compared to their powerful magics, physical prowess, control over the skies, and even the heavenly bodies above. I owe them so much. I wouldn't even be alive today if it weren't for them. Mm. I often feel so small and helpless just standing amongst them. But even with all that said, I can still make a difference. I can still bring joy into their lives. Interesting that they're using an orchestrated version of Henry's I theme. Help keep them safe. To be honest, I don't suppose I'll ever know why I'm willing to give so much. Maybe T-Rex was right about me. Maybe there was a seed planted in my mind compelling me towards serving their every need. Or maybe that links back to his backstory. I just want every pony to stay together. Despite all the rivalries, the insults, the endless puns, or jealousy over each other's successes, we're always better together. And that's worth fighting for. Our friendship is worth everything I can give. The devices you've used here have unlocked the secret to immortality, and you're wasting it on trying to build the camaraderie of some effless internet personalities. Yes. Yes, I am. You have no idea how long I lived without friends. Hmm. Family. Quite possibly 900 years. Closed off from the world without any need of fear. Take it from someone who knows. Immortality has no meaning without those you care for. I don't want to survive. I want to live. We've all seen the show, Doc. Fine. I'll get that machine one way or another. Hmm. I just civil war you lot. Maybe I have to up my game to Thanos levels. Oh dear. And just where do you think you're going? Here we go. Home. To play some Overwatch. Please put that away before you embarrass yourself. You're not going anywhere. This may be a retooled pyro weapon, but it still packs a punch. It's a pyro weapon? Please, you think I'd come to this minus 10 death trap without making sure I was invulnerable to anything you could do to me? I gave them all their super forms, and I can surpass them just as easily. Besides, I've seen you in action. All you do is shoot paint. What are you gonna do? Starving artist me to death? And goodbye. Mm. Well played. All that build up and petty scheming just to be yeeted by a supporting character. Yeah, well, this is too temporary a solution anyway. Soon I will find the exit to this happy little hole. I'll just have to start from the ground up again. Build up a whole new plan for petty revenge. Yes, revenge on Sergeant Pepper and a little dog too. I just need some assets of unbelievable power. Something dark, something conniving, something that'll Ooh. Me. Oh, hello. Yo, princess, I can dig it. Oh, I had to say it, didn't I? Yeah, that's right, gorgeous. So, did I overhear you talking to yourself like a complete madman correctly? You want to cut your analyst friends up there another nice little slice? 
Uh, yes. Actually, <laughs> yeah, well, I think I can help you. Step into my orifice. Your orifice? Or what? Oh, no. No! Guys, waiting to eat me! Get in the black hole! Going down. Uh oh. All right, whoever's in here, we're warning you. Are we gonna see the gray man? We know how to use these. Or at least the new one. Oh, hello, Dusty. Good day, Mr. Bossman. <gasps> Dusty Cat, how did he get in here? I didn't call him. I thought you did. Nobody called me. So I got wind from the director that. Uh, Apparently, one of you died. Well, that's what we planned. But it didn't work out for, for either of us. So you can go. Help yourself to the mints on the way out. <laughs> yeah, slight problem with that. See, you're the heads of a huge organization. And you're squandering all your resources trying to outgun each other. Well, you yes. Do whatever he wants right from under him. And you let your best mercenaries nearly kill each other. Over a poster, no less. Mm hmm. The poster. It was the principle of the matter. It's a bad principle. Okay, it was the principle and the poster. So, yeah. We kind of got carried away. Some kind of more than others. <laughs> what? You want us to attend some kind of better business seminar or something? <laughs> I'm afraid you two turtle doves are nothing but liabilities to man now. So uh, I think it's time for a new pecking order. Well, well, hold a hold change hold in management. We, we can talk this out, can't we? spot on Brody's react has that ever worked now that you mention it not really, not really. and there we have the end still Although we've still got a few minutes left. It's probably going to be the credits. And another rendition of Seven Nation Army. Oh, 18? I like that. Myth. <laughs> yes. Well, Dragon Zord. That's pretty fair in both instances. Good work on the animation there, Lightning Gliss. Mm hmm. <laughs> we got a rabbit's 
Yeah, where was KP in all of this? I mean, the whole reason why this, this started was because there was a full roster. I mean, I understand that she couldn't fight Dr. Wu because he didn't have a super form, but uh, still. I do like Silver Quill's new rather industrious uh, machine gun. I'm, I'm a bit of a steampunk fan. Oh, so Anthony played both of them, right. And one expanded poster. You're Hello, Jasper. Watching? This is it. The movie's over. Go home. We're done here. We'll see you in the next video. Whatever that is, please cook away. It's over. Stop watching me. You're a creep. As they say on the magic roundabout, time for bed. Right. And, uh, well, it's still a bit gloomy, but I. But, but uh, to sum up, what a ride! We'll be seeing that we'll be we'll be seeing what uh, the fallout from that in uh, the next in whenever the next one happens. But uh, anyway, this has been Major Welcome. Hope to see you soon. Signing out.